All right, so we have Dead Island 2, the final preview. Let's get right to the video. I think yeah. Dead Island is coming out. Oh. As the one survivor is immune so. to the zombie infection running rampant in its quarantined Los Angeles setting, Dead Island 2 lets you become the most pugilistic plastic surgeon in Hollywood. Okay. Doling out blunt force face. I can't wait till this comes out, bro. Ghoul and undead surfer dude staggering around its post apocalyptic paradise setting. During my recent hands-on with the first five hours of this long-awaited zombie slaying sequel, no I had fair. a blood splattered blast becoming the rotting flesh knuckles? prince of Bel Air and turning every floor in the city into a ghastly red carpet. Even if it did feel at times like I'd curb stomped a lot of these same skulls before. Ooh, the Walmart sevens on. That's crazy. After hey, but what can I get some some, some early release gameplay? Can I what can I play? City, Dead Island 2 sent me on a search for fellow Look survivors at that from Bel Air oh to Beverly God. Hills. The Los Angeles setting is not one big open world. Instead, it's 10 districts stitched together by loading screens, and despite the presence of countless abandoned vehicles, you're forced to remain carbon neutral by roaming around entirely on foot at a speed that feels somewhat listless in the wake of Dying Light 2's high speed wall running. Really? Still, each section of the city I've seen so far is sizable and encourages exploration and return visits with interesting side missions to discover Hello? Don't run away. and overpowered super zombies to encounter that will slaughter you with a single Boy, he hit built like, he built like Broly. A high enough level. He built like The Rock. Speaking of which, Dead Island 2 allows you to choose from six different slayers, each with their own base strengths and weaknesses. Amy is agile and athletic, able to regain stamina with each weapon throw and gains a damage boost when attacking isolated zombies. Okay. While stuntman Jacob has more health and his attacks grow more powerful when landed in quick succession. Okay. For my playthrough, I opted for Ryan, the more tank-like member of Dead Island 2's playable cast, who regains health every time he knocks a zombie to the ground. Ryan is described as an exotic dancer and is dressed like a fireman on his way to a bachelorette party, but oh. the closest he gets to a stripper's pole is the steel pole he uses to strip the arms and legs off his undead assailants. Really? Building on each character's base stats, Dead Island 2's skill card system allows you to tailor your character traits to best suit your playstyle. Ooh. It's a refreshingly streamlined approach that contrasts with some of the more convoluted skill trees found in other modern action adventures allowing you to choose between basic abilities like blocks and dodges and yeah. then layering on cards to further enhance them. The bulk of the cards I unlocked as I Over progressed to level 10 during my hands-on were useful though not especially game-changing, like gaining health from well-timed blocks or performing a war cry to receive a temporary boost to toughness. I'm a little cold, that's why I'm assuming doing that some of the flashiest superpowered abilities will come in the form of top-tier Newman cards, which I'm unfortunately yet to come across this early in the adventure. So wait... California screaming. You don't need a poker face to handle Dead Island 2's uh, deck uh, of cards, uh, but you will uh, need to uh, poke a face. Oh, not the face off. Or two during each and every encounter with LA's population of meat puppets. I'm Thankfully, your you biggest are fan of all of improvised you. utensils in order to tackle Dead Island 2's all you can beat buffet, Ooh. and many of them feel enjoyably distinct to use. From the satisfying way a heavy attack with a sledgehammer knocks enemies Boy, into the ground, with the haymaker. fence posts. To the rapid Knocked blows of the brass off. knuckles that allow you to punch a zombie's brain right out of the back of its skull, like you're pitting the world's angriest olive. Most of them can be upgraded with various mods and perks, his hand, like bro, his up hand a set of style claws with electricity to bring some extra shock to the ore. Nah, this is overkill. Oh my or god! A baseball bat with nails, so it inflicts nah, nah, persistent nah, nah, bleeding nah. damage with every swing. You put you put nails on a baseball bat, you heathen. There's some strategy to weapon choice. What too. is this right a here? Fire augmented hammer is less effective against a zombie that's already in flames, for example. Ah, uh, okay. So it's good to load up with a set of smacking and slashing tools to suit all occasions. My mastery of my arsenal was tested during one side mission, where a Gen Z influencer tasked me with dispatching waves of monsters. That's an influencer. They got influencers in, in this order game. To capture footage for her channel. By the end of it, I'd bludgeoned, bisected, and barbecued enough undead assailants to fill her Twitch stream with a steady stream of twitching bodies, and had plenty no of laughs while I was at it. No way. This was just one of a handful of memorable set pieces packed full of more rancid zombie varieties. Guys, if I yawn, I, mean, I only got two hours of sleep. I'm sorry about that. From enjoying a backyard cookout with freshly grilled ghouls to dousing undead paramedics in water and lobbing car batteries at them to shock them into submission 
to tearing through the zombie cast and crew in a Hollywood backlot, ooh, ooh. I relished the opportunity to carve out a Californian killing spree in a Dream blaze of California glory. California cation. Beat and repeat. Despite these hysterical highs, there are early signs here that the decaying flesh hanging off its shuffling citizens might not be the only thing that could grow stale in Dead Island 2. Oh no, what happened? And it could potentially become a fairly repetitive experience over the course of the adventure. Building interiors are notably reused at times, and so are a number of mission objectives. I've had to replace the circuit breaker on an electronic gate to stop the advancing zombie hordes on more than one occasion already, okay. which seems a little uninspired. This will work. Yeah. Oh in my spite of god! Of weapon augmentation and skill buffs, combat in Dead Island 2's opening hours too often boils down to just clumsily caving in zombie skulls with a bunch of blunt instruments. And once the okay, horrifying yeah. thrill of the gore has worn off, grinding through these garden variety ghouls does tend to feel about as challenging as bashing a pinata without a blindfold. Yeah, on. okay. I understand that. He's saying that it might get, he's basically saying it might get on boring, that basically. Note, it was striking me as odd that I'd spent five hours in the land of the Second Amendment, rummaging through the personal safes and panic rooms of the rich and famous without finding a single firearm. But right at the end of my hands-on, I received a call on the walkie-talkie from returning series character Sam B, informing me that he had a lead on a gun, and acquiring it was to become the next story objective. That was certainly an enticing way to finish. The guns you see in this footage were unfortunately not available during my hands-on, mm. but their inclusion in the final game in combination with a few more weird and wonderful enemy types, and the Berserker Fury mode hinted at in recent trailers has me feeling optimistic that Dead Island 2's combat so, uh, will evolve you won't even have to keep guns in this game throughout the course of its limb lopping tour. You will not La touch La a gun in this game, bro. Basically, that's what he's saying. Basically, you There's will not touch a, a you will not touch a gun in this game. Flesh flaying fun here. So he's hoping that after a nine year wait for Dead Island 2 to come out, it ultimately proves to be beyond a mere shuffle step forward for the series and more like a pulse quickening lunge for your jugular. For more IGN previews, check out our hands-on with crime boss Rock A City and she Final drunk, Fantasy bro. 16. And for everything She's else, stupid drunk at the back. IGN. Okay. That man's just throwing him at you. He's not worried. Alright. Alright, so here's my take on it. The game comes out uh in april in april 21st i think so we got like a month ago uh my thing is you won't so what he basically said was you won't even find a gun you won't find a gun until like the last part where you meet like that one girl that jumps off the balcony or the one zombie that jumps off the balcony whatever blah blah, blah right something like that i mean if they made it to where if they made it to where, like, you know, all like you, you don't need a gun, then okay, I'm fine with it. But, like, if it's like if the zombies are like hitting hard and like they're too hard or whatever, then nah, like, we need guns. But I doubt that, though. I doubt it. I doubt it. Um, another thing is, he said at the beginning of the, of the video that there are actually 10 districts in the city, and that every time you go into a district, there's a loading screen. So it's not like an open world thing. So it's not like uh, uh, GTA to where you, obviously, you know, there's different parts of Los Santos. Uh, like there's, this, there's different neighborhoods, different, you know, different, you know, different everything. Right. And so if you go into like a different part of Los Santos, um, obviously, there's no loading screen since it's an open world game. I thought there's going to be an open world game, too. I thought you can travel anywhere in California uh, or anywhere uh, in L.A. or Bel Air. I, don't, I forget which one uh, they were in. But um, no, you, there's 10 districts. There's going to be a loading screen in each district you go to. So, I mean, it is what it is when it came to that. I mean, I, I can't really control that. I thought it was going to be open world, though, in my opinion. But, again, it is what it is. Um, other than that, comment down below what you guys think about this, man. Um, it's been nine years since another Dead, uh, Dead, Island game, Dead Island game came out. So, I don't know, man. Just like this guy said, I mean, it, it could get boring after like a month. You know, nobody just wants to, you know what? No, some people wants to kill zombies all day, every day. Some do. Me, I mean, I could do it for like a few days, but like other than that, I mean, if there's nothing else, you know, then I, I you know, then I don't know. Um, other than that, comment down below what you guys think about the Daylighting 2 uh, preview trailer. Remember, the game comes out in a month, so they can still make changes and stuff like that. So um, 
Other than that, I'll see you guys for the next time out. I keep messing up my outro, but it is what it is. It just became like a normal thing. I do so well when it when it comes to like talking and stuff like that throughout like the main video. When it comes to the outro, I always just flop it. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys later for the next one. I can't say I'll see you guys later without messing up. It's, it's ridiculous. All right. Peace.